Hey guys, Dan here. Welcome back to Professional Development. What episode is this? 105. <laughs> 105? Yeah. Okay. I've missed the last, what, eight, nine? No, you were here for episode 100. 100. So I missed the last five, four. Yeah, that's whatever. Not, that's My not math horrible. skills aren't, aren't all the way there. But um, Matt's out today. So we got everybody, including that's myself. That's two weeks in a row for Matt I, Cresco, by the I way. I can't say anything because I've missed a <laughs> fuck ton of episodes. But I'm back. Um, one thing I want to mention before we get going, guys, is. Um, we appreciate you guys listening, but we definitely, uh, we're picking up steam. Like our videos on Instagram are getting more likes, more views, all this stuff. But we really want to continue to grow so we can get on some better guests. Um, so if you could, please like, subscribe, whatever the fuck you got to do. Um, I don't know, Brad, you want to add anything to that? But No, I mean, like uh, literally if you, you're taking the time to listen, we have a lot of people that say, oh, I turned my friend onto this. They really enjoy it. Keep doing that. Share it with as many people as you can. Repost on your Instagram stories. Um, I mean, we, we're getting, like Dan said, we're getting great support across the board from all the platforms, but uh, we have some pretty high goals that we're wanting to get to, and uh, we're only going to get there with your guys' help. Yeah, and, and I, I mean, we, we all have people come up to us or say something like, oh, I, I found your podcast or I listen to your podcast. I love it. Like, it's great. Like, we truly believe that we have a great product, um, but we want to see that in, in asking you guys to help us out a little bit with you know, if you are going to share it or, or or you do listen, but, you know, maybe you don't follow us on Instagram or you follow us on Instagram, you don't subscribe on Apple, iTunes or whatever it is. Or if you're like sad and you never leave, yeah. you never leave reviews or anything like that, even though you're on the podcast, oh a non-dues yeah. pain member <laughs> yeah. of the yeah. podcast. Yeah. So, I mean, we want this, you know, we love doing this. We want to bring <laughs> as much value to as many people as we possibly can. So, just want to throw that out there because we actually ask Matt to do this pretty much every week and he never brings it up. So. He always waits to the end when nobody's listening. <laughs> yeah. So. so at least give us like 20 minutes of your time and then cut out at the final 10. <laughs> we'll make sure that in the intro we'll say, just listen to Dan rant about subscribing, subscribing <laughs> to all of our content and then I swear it, it'll get better. I'll be on more if we can get more subscribers. <laughs> okay, sounds good. We'll have you <laughs> bat the lead off then. You'll be our lead off batter. Yeah. Um, all right. So... Current events. Well, yeah. I, I think what we're all wondering is if Sal got laid in Vegas. Oh, yeah. yeah that's okay. a great question. I did not. God uh, damn. I don't know. I don't know. Any, I mean, any war stories? I, yeah, I mean, we got shit faced. It was a good time. Yeah. We, what Hunt, club did you go to? Uh, Omnia, Friday night. Steve uh, Aoki? No, it was uh, Alessa. Nice. Was that, the, was that the $150 cover or is that something different? Well, so apparently since we had a table, we didn't have to pay cover, so I um, Oh. I, uh, I was shocked about that too, but... I think Matt's even mentioned that it's, like, a little more intimidating, a little bit harder to, like, land a girl in Vegas because... You can't tell if it's a hooker or not, bro. Dude, they're all... Well, they're or all... A dude. <laughs> no. I mean, they're all, like... <laughs> there was there the one and, chick that was hitting all dressed and up. And she was, like, and one grand. Like, I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, really? Are you <laughs> no serious? No way. So, so, wait, you were, like, how did it go? You were thinking you were macking I'm, hard and things I were going well. I bought her a drink and she was, like, texting me. I, like, I was, like, okay. Was she was like, texting you? Yeah. And I was you like, got her? I was like, come so on. So he did have a story. <laughs> yeah. I did have one. But I was like, come up. And she was like, 1,000. I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> did you try Did you try negotiating at all? Or was yeah, it just dude, like... I was like, 250. <laughs> <laughs> Hit her with that 75% discount. No, yeah, then she comes back at 500. Then you go to 375. And then Actually, she did go down. <laughs> What'd, What'd she, she go, go down to? What'd five? To? Yeah, but I went to sleep. <laughs> She went to his 500? Yeah. Damn, bro. Wow, 1,000 to 500? Yeah. You could have... So just so everybody this knows, this is a learning conflict. lesson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you were almost great at negotiating. Start at half and go from there. <laughs> That's you amazing. Sh you should have asked about like a group rate. Like maybe you and a buddy could have gone in like halvesies oh. on it. I think I was the only single one. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I mean, if you're going to spend, you know, 70 bucks to ride in a golf cart, like you were saying, you might as well spend 500. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Short, yeah. shorter, so, shorter ride. Okay, <laughs> so that kind of leads to something that uh, happened in the last week that I think could have benefited Sal is if you would have won the one point five billion dollar Powerball, what would have you done with the money? So if I would have won, I would have paid my parents' mortgage off. Oh, good guy, Sal. Get myself a house. Would you pay her a thousand bucks? No. 
You still oh. have hundred thousand bucks? No. What? You're a billionaire. <laughs> Well, you, after tax, what are you getting? Like no, six I think, well, no, I think so it ended up being tax, like 473 million. If you took the if you took lump, took sums. lump sum. But I mean, at that rate, you could have just taken the annual like 35 million and you would have been sitting pretty good. So, Sal, hold on. Dan's going to Dan's gonna drop million. the percentage on it of uh, exactly how much it would have If you make 3% you. a year, just putting that in account, you make $14,250,000. That's a, that's 39000 a day. I mean, you're still making money. Yeah. Just to give her a thousand bucks. And Even you still if you lasted a minute. <laughs> you wouldn't have done it? No. Oh. Uh-huh. God damn. <laughs> Did you get her IG or something like that? No, I got some other girls IG. Are, are, these girls, are these girls handing out like business cards that's like... <laughs> They're flipping them. <out. laughs> oh, no. Don't they have like... Isn't that a thing? They like, do they have, have cards. Those. I'm, so yeah. I'll be in Vegas for the first time in two weeks and I'm, I'm not going to card, experience though. anything like that. But uh, that's never what I heard. say never. Yeah, I never see any card. <laughs> I definitely though. will not. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I ever went it was for my twenty first birthday, and like all these dudes were like flipping these like cards for like hookers or they're whatever. pros, man. <laughs> da, 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 but they don't do so it as these much are anymore. Pimps? It's not no. Yeah, no, they're like paid. promoters. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, they don't do it as much on the strip anymore. But w- one funny thing is, my dad used to take them. And then he would go to his friend's houses and, oh, and he would, awesome. he would like s- slip them in the couch cushions oh. and then he would leave. And then when the wife that's would clean up. the fucking couch, they'd be like, what the fuck is this? So I got a story about that too, because back that's when so I was cool. racing, we'd go out there every Halloween. I would get those cards. I would go back to Limburg in high school and I would throw them in the fucking urinals. Like every time really? after the race out there, I'd throw them in the fucking urinals. So people are probably like, what the fuck is this thing in here? You know, Limburg high school? Yeah. I mean, you probably had some creepy kid that like yanked it out and was like, okay, 1-800. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's, That's awesome. Well, um, Sal, pretty disappointed that uh, that you don't have any great stories. I mean. Did yeah. you lose money? Like, um, did you gamble? Oh, no. For minimum, it was like three fifty five hundred. I was like, I don't got that type of cash to like. For, where were you staying, boy? It was a Wynn Hotel. So, Jeez. like, the tables I kept on seeing, it was just like. That's the minimum? He needed to yeah, go to like Circus like, Circus or something. Yeah, dude. You gotta I like, the, I like the $5 blackjack tables. They probably <laughs> don't have those in Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. yeah, Fremont Street's the fucking... So, dude, that's what I always did at River City. Just go there, like, okay, it's a $20. I was so, like, okay, but now they increased it to $25, $30. I was like, ooh, that's $10 extra. I'll <laughs> <laughs> so I actually hit the Powerball ones. Really? Oh, damn. <laughs> and it was uh, our buddy Jake, that Brad knows, his wife also hit it because it was a company one it was uh-huh. my last job and so like they took money and you could put in like five ten or twenty dollars so i threw 20 so and then some people put five whatever and they went out and they bought all these tickets <clears throat> and it was like 900 it was approaching a billion um, oh wow this is so probably 2016 this was 20 had to be 2016 because that's whenever I started my business. And I remember I quit and I'm like, these motherfuckers better still give me my Powerball <laughs> money. Um, and it was, I think it was mega millions. But regardless, um, what we ended up, what ended up happening is we got the first four balls and the ball. Oh, okay. Uh, so you missed the fifth so, regular so what ball. We got, so what we won is 50,000. Oh, okay. Jesus. If we would have got the first five balls, but not the ball, we would have won a million. Oh, okay. And then obviously if we would have got the one, yeah. So like I ended up walking away with like twenty three hundred bucks. That's pretty sweet. So I'm I up. mean that's still a great story just to say you won like the lottery. Yeah, it's like kind of I mean, you know I mean? crazy. Uh, it sucks though you're one number away from like life changing yeah, money. Yeah, it would have been like seventy million dollars. Jeez, but that's crazy. Um, Dan would have definitely spent that on that hooker in BSL. <laughs> <laughs> um, Want to let you? Only know. if my wife would join too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, so. But I, I, the Powerball is interesting to me because I think, like, buying a ticket is, like, that little sliver of hope. Like, yeah. you buy the ticket, and then— And I didn't buy any tickets. I haven't bought a oh, we did. Powerball I, ticket Like, so it was me and my, my cousin, like, our close high school friends. We all put in 20 bucks, and we are like, waited for Friday, and we are just like, oh, looks like we're— But you, but yeah. you buy it, <laughs> and what do you do? You get in the car, and you're like, oh, if I hit this, yeah. you know, what would I do with yeah. it, you know? The, apparently, they take credit cards now before they were just cash only. Yeah, they used to be like that. So, but what would, what would have you done? I mean, I obviously would have just like bought all the shit that I talk about and yeah. got and everything. 
But I, I think I would still work. Like, I fucking... For sure, yeah. You know what I mean? I, like, I don't I think I, I would. I could never sit still. <laughs> I've actually thought about this a lot. Um, I couldn't, so, not, I couldn't yeah. not do anything. Of you would get s- bored. So the first thing I would do is I would tell all my friends, anybody who I thought was like in my circle, I would tell them to quit their jobs and they're going to work for me. Because what fun can you have if you have all these toys, but nobody can go with you? Right. So you got to have an entourage to follow you around. Right. And then I would, uh, I would allocate like say... 10 or 15 million, probably, probably. I'd ask for that. a sign on bonus though, because oh, like, if you kick me out of the circle, yeah, then I go mm-hmm. back to the job. Right. Yeah. And then I just gave up my career to be yeah. a part of your entourage. Yeah. So I would need a sign on bonus. That's, that's to, cool. to protect it. Yeah. That's actually great. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I would actually buy up some businesses that would just essentially just cover my expenses for a whole year, even though knowing that whatever money I have sitting in some sort of investment fund is just going to cover all my expenses anyways but uh that would also make me feel like i was part of it to be like on like say like a board or something overseeing all these uh businesses that's what i would do and obviously anybody that was close to me like i would be the guy that like if some cousin that i didn't even really fucking know was down there luck and they just needed some place i'd be like here's a fucking house or here's a car or whatever and don't ask again though that you get it once, and after that, if you abuse, you it, get it's one over. wish. Well, that's the thing. With, <laughs> I'm the with, genie. Like family and money, it's kind of like this isn't a loan. This isn't anything. I'm gonna give you the ten grand or whatever it is yeah. one time. Don't ask me ever again. Yeah. And then you set the boundary there. You give the money. If it's a loan, there will always be animosity. So always. You never do the loan thing. Yeah. So Shelby and I were talking about it because she bought a ticket because she was like, "Should we play this?" And I never buy tickets, and she did, and she's like. What would we do if we won? She's like, you'd still work at your job, right? And I go, fuck no. I go, <laughs> and she's like, you wouldn't work? And I go, I would, but I would do something that I actually like really want to. I, it'd have to do something with sports, have to do something with music, like whether it's golf course or you it's like. You could do anything you wanted at that point. I, I want to be like, I want to vacuum the fucking stage where right before Dave's about to play and just Dave be Matthews. able to watch every single show. <laughs> like I would literally, t- I would follow the band. I thought it would, would have been do. something a little more intense than vacuuming before he went on. <laughs> <laughs> it's what happens after the vacuuming. Uh, well, but, that's a keyword, vacuuming. Yeah. Va- what do vacuums do? Yeah. <laughs> they suck, 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 baby. Suck, <laughs> suck. <laughs> so it, it, like, I, I really, I really would absolutely quit. My, if I won all that money, I'd quit my job. 100 percent and i'd go i would go do something else i don't even know if it would be i mean you could live a purpose driven life yeah i could do exactly what i wanted to do and it wouldn't it's like like she teaches and it's like you would still teach if and work for thirty thousand dollars a year if we just made 600 million cash like no i would i would i would call that job and be like you're having premarital sex and get you fired from your Catholic school job. Like, <laughs> what I would do. You, she is? <laughs> Gross. Right? I don't know with who, but, but they say me, maybe. Like, there's, like, documentaries and shit about the people that win, yeah. and then they lose all of it. I don't have so any we, of that information. So we talked about that last week, actually, whenever, whenever it was just Sal and I, and they said whether it's a million dollars or a or half a million dollars, that 70% of lottery winners actually lose all of that money within five years. Well, here's the thing, right? Like, if you win a million dollars, like, I think- That's not going to last you forever. Well, here's the thing. If you're making $50,000 a year, right? Or you make 15 bucks an hour or 13 bucks an hour, and let's say you're like 45 years old, 50 years old, and you've always kind of like made that lower end wage- you're you're always like, man, if I only had a million dollars, man, if I only had a million dollars, now you get a million dollars. So you think, well, this is, I'm set. I'm set. And yeah. then you, but the thing with money is the more you have, the more you spend because you get accustomed to like mm-hmm. certain things in life. Yeah. And so like, it's just a fucking snowball, you yeah. know? And if you're not making any, it all just poof, gone. Yeah. A million isn't much, but you talk, you talk a billion, <laughs> 600 million, you're good. Yeah, yeah, it would it would be hard to fuck that up at that point. I feel like like yeah. you would just you somebody would blues. take a decent amount of your money and just invest it, and you would just sit back and you wouldn't have to worry about it. I'd give that money to someone else to completely handle everything for me, and just say I would say make sure that the next three generations have no worries at all, yeah. and yeah. tell me how much I can spend a year. Yeah, or at, at that point, if I had that much money, someone probably need to tell me how much money I can spend per week or per per month. Well, just you, like, hey, stay I did inside this budget. And you can spend 39000 a day. Oh, okay, cool. I'm pretty sure I can stay under that budget. <laughs> and, and still, uh, that's at 3% return. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, the last thing on the lottery, did you guys watch that movie, Jerry and Marge Go Large? 
No. It's with Brian Cranston. No. And basically, they, it's a true story. And the guy figures out how to beat this certain lottery. Uh, like, we have a pick three or yeah, whatever yeah. it is in Missouri. But, like, I think Michigan or Ohio, one of them was running this this lottery game that he figured out that was mathematically beatable. Hmm. And he beat it. And But they would never hit the big one. It was mathematic. Like, you would mathematically beat it by purchasing X amount of tickets. And then you wouldn't win the big big prize. But you would win, like, the $4 on a $2 buy. Or you would win, you know, a ton of $6, whatever it is. And so he, got like, got the community involved and investors and all these things. So it's a really – it was actually a pretty good movie. I haven't seen that. Um, talking about somebody – Going broke though. What about Deshaun Watson, bro? <laughs> uh, the, the thing, the thing that I don't understand and kind of pissing me off is like, all right, so NFL suspends him for what six games? So it's literally a quarter per woman that he's, yeah, at, like allegedly, apparently did whatever bullshit. But so they suspend him for six games, but they sus, uh, but they suspend Calvin Ridley for a year for betting on his own team that he wasn't even playing because he was injured. Yeah. That I don't make sense. And that's now, the part that I, I just think uh, like the justification for every player that's been suspended does not make sense so far. And who was the baseball player that just <laughs> got suspended for two years? Who was that? Um, I'm not sure. So I mean, I just I don't see where the NFL is coming up with what they do for like Trevor Bauer. Yeah, oh, so yeah, Trevor okay. Bauer. Well, that was really bad. Yeah, he got yeah. suspended for two years, right? But isn't that what did he do? That was a domestic violence. Yeah, domestic violence. Like, so how is that? He'll probably be in jail for two years. But how is that worse <laughs> than what Deshaun Watson was doing? But the, okay, I have a theory, right? What like you got? these dudes, yeah, they're like some of these videos are insane. But yeah. like six games, he's a fucking star player. Yep. So does it matter who you are? Like if Mike Trout, you know what I mean? Like yeah. does that matter? Um, but. They know it's going to keep happening, and they got to keep players, their star players, on the field. So, well, now they just why? released an article that their tr- NFL wants Deshaun Watson to be suspended for the whole year. Yeah, because well, they had a right. well. The decision was announced what on Monday or Tuesday morning, and apparently it's three days that the NFL has to appeal it. And because this lady works for the NFL, who came out with the ruling, correct? Yeah. yeah. Um, and. I was surprised. I thought he was going to get at least half a season, if not three quarters of the season. Whenever he got six games, I was, I mean, I was a little surprised by that. Uh, just because I would, I would think with what was it, 25, 30 allegations of sexual assault, sexual misconduct, that yeah. they'd probably, they'd probably suspend him a little longer. But it just goes to show what, uh, what athletes can get away with versus where if that were any one of us. Now, obviously, we're not getting suspended from things, but y- you'd be, damn sure that we would not, unless we started our own business, we wouldn't have a job. And if we did start our own business, it'd probably be hard for us to get clients if they knew who the fuck we were. Yeah. And then on top of that, like, the amount of guaranteed money he's getting is kind of... Is, yeah, he's getting paid anyway, so yeah. what's he well, care? He he's get gonna paid s- for those first six games. It's guaranteed, I thought. So isn't not, he just going to sit at home? If he suspended those six games, he won't get paid for those six oh, games. Oh, okay. Well, that makes it a little bit different than what I yeah. thought. So. Yeah. So they, they have a little bit of a loophole, but yeah, pretty bizarre stuff with then, the Deshaun Watson shit. So he gets suspended six games, but then the Dolphins owner, Dolphins was uh, allegedly tampering with the uh, free agency, trying to get Brady to sign with the Dolphins by offering him part, of, part ownership. So NFL fined the owner 1.5 mil, and he's suspended until o- October. The owner is? Yeah, the owner. Is See, so what, what, how do you suspend an owner? Well, but what's wrong with like him being like, hey, I mean, at that point, Brady was retired or no? And he was no, free- Brady said he was retired. He was said retired. he was retired. Okay. And then so, he's trying to come back. But isn't that just like, it's almost like part of your contract. Like, hey, I'm going to give you ownership. Like, that's a pretty decent deal. Like, well, I guess I don't know the ins and outs of it that make it like wrong, but I feel like that's just like a bargaining chip trying to get somebody to play for you. But I don't think if a player were to sign with a team, they don't get the contract to get ownership. The only time the contract happened with the ownership was when Raiders offered to uh, John Gruden. But then all that uh, emails came out. So that backfired on them. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't I don't really understand it. But uh, either way, I, I don't know what suspending the owner is going to do uh, yeah. to anything. Right. And at the end of the day, $1.5 to an owner of an NFL team is 
chump change. We also <laughs> took their uh, first round draft pick. For he probably game. would have paid a thousand dollars for a hooker cell. That was exactly what I was going to say. Like, he wouldn't have blinked at a thousand dollars. He was probably with a thousand dollar hooker when he took the call about the one point five, and then went back to the hooker. Or a ten thousand dollar hooker. <laughs> Or ten. Or ten. One thousand. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it adds up to ten. <laughs> ten ones, yeah. one ten, two fives. It's just quick math right there. What else we got? It's expensive. Oh, then MLB, the baseball trade line was yesterday, and the Cardinals did not get Juan Soto. Yeah, I'm not too upset about it, to be honest. Whatever. I'd uh, take Otani. Oh, yeah. I'd yes, take Otani I wish, we, I wish it went for him. Soto is he's young they say keep saying he's a generational talent whatever uh, you know the Padres, Padres Padres scale so much they, they gave a lot and uh, I don't know I, I'm more, I'm skeptical I don't think that Soto is going to be a powerhouse uh, through even through the end of his 20s I, I would say that right now um, so I should sell his card now <laughs> you just, maybe maybe after he makes like a few more all-star but games I so I'm hoping we at least go for Shohei Atani next year but we traded Harrison Bader we got our pitching bolstered up but I don't know if that will make a big difference so I have a question about Otani he plays for the Dodgers right yeah. Angels. Angels Angels okay um, he's the pitcher, correct? Yeah. But does he also hit PCH? Yeah. Like that's that's fucking phenomenal man. Well, he's like the, literally no the best pitcher. MLB player right now he, you'll never see anything like that again it's I mean, like Babe Ruth shit because yeah. Babe yeah. Ruth was a pitcher yeah yeah as well. Which I don't think most people realize, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, so. he's he's like the second coming of uh, of Babe Ruth. So like even at this point in his, so I guess in his right career, Babe Ruth, he's a he's a two sixty two batter. He's got one hundred and fifteen home runs in his career this year alone. He's uh, I mean this year alone he's batting what's his 255, ERA? 22 home runs uh, from a from a ERA standpoint. Um, let's see here. Well, his career roar is 5.2, so that's pretty good. Wait, what's roar? I don't uh, wins know. above replacement. Oh. Um, pitching stats, he has a... Where's the ERA? There's so many statistics on here. I need the ERA. Yeah, that's important. <laughs> I feel uh, like ERA 3. Point, 3.28 okay. uh, ERA. So, so Bay, Babe Ruth, the reason why I wanted that, was a career 2.28 ERA, and he went 94 and 46. What uh? What was his career batting average? Uh, so while you're pulling that up, this year he Otani is a two point eight one ERA, and you got to remember. I mean, so the lowest, win loss record the doesn't really matter ERA whenever it like comes to his pitcher. What's that? The lowest ERA is like the best pitcher. I mean, it's statistically, typically, yeah, that's just amount of earned earned runs per nine innings pitched. Okay. So right. every nine innings that he pitched, he mm -hmm. gives up on average a little over three runs. And then how does that? How do they like calculate the batting average? That's just it hits tad bats. Okay. Yeah. Three forty two, career. That's pretty good. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, he's that's so crazy. he's yeah. it's it, well it's interesting because there's just no other two way player in baseball as far as yeah. what's Otani's um batting Otani's average. batting average. I think he said two twenty six. No, no, his was a little higher. His was two seventy four. I can't remember what I said now. Um. Either way, that's either impressive. way. It's yeah. for a pitcher, yeah. um, pretty good. He's, it's a, like he's paying a, one player two sixty two. Yeah, exactly. Two sixty two, oh. batting two fifty five this year. He's got he's got pop. He can hit. He can throw. Um, there's not anyone else like it. But yeah, not too upset about getting about not getting one Soto. What you think with the pitching and Harrison Bader? I I don't care. Oh. <laughs> I don't even really watch baseball. I like I, mean, I yeah. like Harrison Bader. Um, ultimately, I think we just got to put the right players around guys like Arenado and Goldschmidt to keep them around. I think they're they're here to stay. I think Mo, even though people want to criticize him all the time, it's like you got to remember he got Arenado. He's brought in Goldschmidt. Uh, granted, you have Wainwright and Yachty on their on their way out. Right. Um, I think they'll make some big moves in the off season. Okay. I hope so. Or Otani. both of them. He can yeah. pitch and catch. <laughs> <laughs> He's that fucking fast. Anything else? No, I think I'm good on my end. Uh, yeah, I think it was, it was a good. good one. Yeah. So, all right, cool. Cool. Thanks well, for listening. Thanks so guys. much, guys. It was later. <laughs>